In this tutorial, I want to demonstrate how you can come from this image to this image with the new Dehancer Pro 7. So let's get started and let's see what you can do to bring your images the look from an analog area. To start with, you can go over to the website dehancer.com and here you can jump over to the video part over here and you see Dehancer Pro. That's the current plugin, so in the version 6, but now the plugin I will demonstrate is the Dehancer Pro version 7. And if you want to buy it, you can go here on buy and you can add the promo code. It's Martin Dursch. Just apply it and you get off 10%. So that's really, really nice. Okay, and let's see what this uh, plugin brings you. I'm here in um, DaVinci Resolve, but you can also work with it in Premiere Pro or in Final Cut because it's an OFX plugin and you can install it on your system and work uh, in the video editor of your choice. In my case, I'm working, as mentioned before, in DaVinci Resolve and that I will have the whole look on all of my material, I have an adjustment layer applied or an adjustment layer on top of all my videos and I have applied the Dehancer 7 plugin, the Dehancer Pro 7 plugin on this adjustment clip. So I will switch over to my edit page so you will see how you can apply an adjustment clip and for this just go over to effects and then here again effects and drag and drop the adjustment clip to a video layer on top of your video material. So here you see that's my video material underneath. I will disable this for now. And on top of this, you have the adjustment layer. You can um, adjust the length of this layer so that you have it on your whole video material. And on this layer, you can apply your plugins. In this case, your Dehancer plugin. In my case, I will delete this track like this and enable the adjustment clip or the, the layer. And now I can switch over to the color page. And here inside the color page, you see that I have a node and this node applies an effect to this adjustment layer like so. So be aware that you have um, selected the adjustment clip. And in the effects tab on the upper right, you see that here on this node with this EFX icon, I've applied this adjustment. Okay, so I will start over and deactivate this one like so and create a new node with option S. That's a new node um, afterwards. And then I can go to the EFX and just scroll down. And on the bottom, you see the film emulation Dehancer Pro. That's the 6.3. And the new one is the Dehancer Pro. 7.0 and just drag and drop it here on this node and you will see that you have all these settings now on the right side and here you can go through and just fiddle around with the settings choose and film um, profile you can work with the film you can say on which medium this was printed so i will just go to this like here then you can adjust all the parameters to your liking and the cool thing is that here in the version 7 we have some kind of profile applied to some options like here the film crane if i want to have an uh, 35 millimeter iso 3, uh, 250 look i can just select it over here but i can also go in and say okay let's go with a film crane of iso 500 with a 35 millimeter film and i can enable and disable this and if you want to have more control, you can go in and just go into custom and then you see you have a lot of control over your film grain in this case. And there you can adjust the size, you can adjust the amount and so on and so on. But in my case, I will just go with the 35 millimeter ISO 500 for this one and I have enabled this. The next thing is the halation. So if I want to have some halation, so on some high contrast regions, I can enable halation. And as before, I have some presets like so, 
but I can also go in with the custom settings and here you see you have a ton of options to choose from. As mentioned before, I will also stay here with the uh, profile, with the preset if you want to. I don't want to enable Bloom, but you can also if you want to. And now there's a new option, that's the film damage. And if I want to have some film damage on my material, I can just enable it and press on play. And now you see I have some film damage, but it's really, really subtle. So I will go in and just select something else like here, eight millimeter on a super eight. And now you see we have some film damage going on. And if that's too much, as mentioned before, just go in, go to custom, and then you can go in and adjust all these parameters. And you see there are a lot of parameters you can choose from, and you can also disable and enable some of these parameters. So I will go with this one, that's okay. I will increase the dust amount a little bit more and just scale it down. Here I also want to scale it down a little bit and that's okay. Scratches, I think scratches are okay right now. And if I now go on full screen and press on play, you see you have a lot of film, grain, film, uh, damage like scratches, hair and so on and so on and that's really really nice to work with such a powerful tool like this. Here is film breath, I want also uh, enable this and gate weave just to have some more damage like um, simulation on my node and when I now play it you see that I have a lot of damage and a lot of analog film like or film look on this. I can also bring in a little bit of a uh, vignette with this and bring it uh, out. So that's the vignetting over here. I will jump to the beginning. Yeah, that's looking looking quite okay here with the vignetting. Maybe not this big of a change, just a little bit like so. Okay. And that's more or less all. As mentioned before, just jump over to the Dehancer site. So it's dehancer.com and check to the check into the video part. That's as mentioned before for the Vinci Resolve, Premiere Pro and After Effects or Final Cut Pro. And you can also uh, go in and buy Dehancer film. That's for Photoshop, Lightroom, Capture One and Affinity Photo. And there you can, if you jump over to the buy button, bring in the promo code and apply this and you see you get a 10% discount as mentioned before as well here on the film side. For my case, I can say I really, really enjoy working with the Dehancer Pro plugins and now the version 7 with all the new added presets to have it a little bit easier for a start point. And if you want to set up, for example, here, the film damage on your likings, just apply the profile custom and then you can go in and tweak all of these sliders to your liking. So if you like this video, give me a like. And if you want to see something more, just write it down in the comments. Okay, so see you next time.